All right, we should be good to go. Make sure, okay, so you guys should be able to hear me just fine. Welcome to Psychic Academy number two. Uh, the once a month, the first Friday of every month, stream uh, basically an informative Psychic Force 2012 stream to help you learn the game, to help explain the mechanics, and it's going to be the first Friday of every month just to help people get into it. So, uh, starting today, let me share a little bit more. So what we're going to have right now is actually there's a recent uh, round robin tournament that top Japanese players did. Uh, later on, we'll be joined by Incident 73, who joined me for Psychic Arena recently. And we'll, we'll basically go through training mode with him and see, like, tr try to make it simpler for, for people to pick up and, and get a hang of the neutral. But for now, I'm going to be calling uh, these games and see if I can't provide just a teensy bit of commentary. For them. So, let me fast forward a little here. All right, so, turn it up a bit. Sure everything's good. Yeah, we should be fine. Let's check a little something here. All right. So, uh, if you guys can't hear the game, well, let me let me double check that. Double check that. Make sure you can. Just for my own sake. All right, so for now, you'd be able to watch that. Let's see how it is. Okay. Mic for a second. For my own sake. Right, so for now, hello. Hey, welcome back. Hey, what's up? We are streaming. We are live, my man. Okay, awesome. Cool. So right now, I actually have uh, streaming a little bit of a. There's a round robin tournament that that I uploaded on YouTube. Right now, we're watching uh, Gates versus Genshin. Would you like me to send you the link? Oh right, yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize. Um, but yeah, you can watch it from here. Uh, how does the game sound, by the way? Well, I guess the video. Technically, it's a video. Yeah, it sounds pretty good at the moment. It's not too. It's not too quiet. <laughs> I got you. Is it uh is it it's not too quiet? Yeah, it sounds sounds fine. Okay, awesome. Awesome. So, yeah, I wanted to commentate a little bit on, on uh, some of these games. So, this is Genshin versus Gates. Gates is, I think, like, the worst character in the game, but he, you can definitely play him very well if you know what you're doing. Uh, this particular player... So, uh, I don't know if I'm translating their name properly, but they, the translation of their name is uh, the person in the accelerator... They go by. They also go by the Twitter tag Gates Oldman, and they are, I think, the best Gates player in Japan. So he ends up with the missiles, and the player they're playing against right now, if I remember correctly, is Gaucho. Gaucho, I think. Could be wrong. Or Hanyan. Hanyan, maybe. I mean, I'll find out when they update the score here. Let me fast forward a bit. Matter of fact, that's a good thing about this. Is I can just fast forward through the uh, through the chaff, so to speak. Okay, so that was that was Gacho. Okay, so now it's Emilio versus Wong, the two best characters in the game. And I believe this is Rio versus Hanyan. Ryo is, uh, I think, one of the best Japanese players in 
He's known, funny enough, he's known for playing Wong and I think Patty. Oh, okay. Yeah, it seems like, uh, I mean, Patty's like just like maybe like a pocket pick, I'm thinking, perhaps? Or uh, like yeah, it, it, I, I think it's both their mains. Um, okay. Let's see here. The old, uh, the old teleporting command throw. Yeah. Okay. Uh, There's a sword. Alright. I know he can hit the, uh... So, Wong has a combo where he sends out... He, he basically combos into sword. And then immediately does another sword. And, and the follow-up for, like, 50% health. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's pretty, uh, uh, it's really It's really not. It's really not. Uh, it's easier to do the further out you are, but I think you can still do it up close. It's just that sword is like you got, you're so you're so plus on after you connect with sword that you can just go into another one immediately. Oh my gosh, that sounds, uh, that sounds sick. Yeah, but he's a boss character to begin with, though. So, all right, next is. Yeah, of course, that would make sense. Yeah, so I believe that was So the time stop the time stop is actually not as good as you would think. The time slow is very good, but the problem with the time stop is he loses all his meter. So typically what you'll see Wongs do is they'll do the time stop when the opponent is at very low health. And uh, they'll basically get guaranteed kill off that. So let me see. Now we're watching. Yeah, so that was Rio versus Hanyan. Now we're watching Gates Oldman versus Hanyan. So Gates, he got that little lightning attack. Oh yeah, yeah. He got a he got so he got a little lightning attack that uh. You see that little spark ball that he shoots. Uh, but, yeah, I, by the way, that was a really good setup. That was a really good yeah, Emilio setup. No, it's a little ball of lightning that kind of freezes the opponent in place. Well, I'm I'm, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go back a bit because I saw something that like it pretty much shows exactly what uh, Emilio is capable of. So you see the 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 prisms and everything, right? I mean, you know what he can do. Cause I know he's got two. Yeah, I remember he has two of them. He has uh, one that just refracts the, the laser where you're at, and then there's one. Okay, so look, one that shoots three of them. look what he did here, right? Uh, yeah. So he has the big one. He has the 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 big reflector. He forces him to to barrier, and then he just does barrier break. That's guaranteed. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. yeah. That is ridiculous. The, the pro like that's part of what makes him so good is he can get a lot of guaranteed barrier break setups like that where he forces you to block the the light lasers and then he just goes in for a barrier so it's like you have to take and it's always going to be 180 damage yeah oh man that's, that's, a, that's a fair i mean life bars are like what's like the, the value of like life bars like just by default or are they like uh i think it's i think it goes up to thousand Okay. So, so yeah, like a, a five hundred a five hundred damage combo would be half half someone's yeah. health. Um, but typically, like super damage is gonna be around like three forty, mm -hmm. three like around there. So that's like where your supers are, are usually. And then you have yeah. other like extra things, like uh, you know when you supercharge. Yeah, like the boost. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was just thinking just the like, default balance. So that makes sense. But yeah, 150 out of 1,000 is, is not bad. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, well, 180 for the... Okay, say, there it is. That ball that um that Gates has, the little lightning ball, it basically works as a as a freeze. So he stops the opponent in place. Yeah, that one. That one I'm over. Okay. And then he can send that up for Oki. The, the cluster bomb. Yeah. Okay. Gates is weird yeah. because, like, on paper he's for actually sure. quite bad, but he kind of has, he kind of has solid tools for just about any situation. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. thinking because uh, he has, a, he, there's a lot of things that he ha he can have that he can use. I mean, I could imagine maybe certain things are gonna maybe match up specific. <laughs> yeah. with, maybe it could work better with certain characters. Yeah. 
So, but yeah, considering what he has, at least he has some tools to fight from range a little bit. But he, but he also wants to more or less get in close and he can set some of those things up too. Like he can use the. He has so the thing about his range is like he actually isn't very good at far at far range. He might seem like at first glance that he's a zoner, but he really isn't. Um, he kind of works in the mid range and up close because <laughs> the problem with his zoning is it's very slow. Yeah, like I know his heavy attack just from his default heavy attack from far. It's that slow tracking missile. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you can't. <laughs> the thing about that missile is you can't aim it. So I'm gonna let me pause it now because I do want to talk a bit about oh, okay. Gates. Uh, you can't aim Gates' missile. You kind of just have to um, shoot it, and and it kind of it tracks a little, so it, it does have its uses, right? Yeah. Um, and it's a really fast moving projectile, so it's not bad by any stretch. Yeah. So it's kind of like you need to throw it out with something else. As yeah, far as yeah. He beat the opponent in some way, or maybe. Cause them to react in some way and then to do it, maybe hit them with something else. His stuff is really good in tandem. As a matter of fact, you know his super where he just sends out all the missiles? Yes. Okay. Uh, that one, yeah. On I don't think that super is meant to ever actually hit. But you know how you know how we just saw what Emilio can do where he uh where he sets up the unblockable? Uh -huh. Gates can do the same thing with missile. Oh, okay. Because if you don't, if you block the missile regularly, you get pushed back, and then the other missiles will will damage you. Mm -hmm. So if you barrier block the missiles, gates can come in and hit you with a barrier attack, barrier break. Oh, but he has the okay. same he has the same situation. He just doesn't travel as fast as Emilio, so he has to be like right at the right distance. Oh, okay, yeah, because I also imagine with the startup for the missiles move, and then you know being able to to follow up and dash up to do to do the barrier break afterwards to follow up. Yeah. I imagine. Yeah, that's so that requires a little bit of it's, setup. It takes a little bit of setup. It takes a little bit of practice, but like I always, you know, like I always say with this game, execution's not the hardest thing in this game. Awareness is. I think awareness is a lot harder. Okay, is he gonna get the combo? No, he did. He didn't get the wall bounce. So. So this is Hanyan versus Rio, I believe. Slide dashes in, gets the throw. That's how good the sword is. You can kind of just throw it out in neutral. Oh wow! Yeah. Dang, that's, uh, now if they if they good. if they dodge it, it's it's gonna be quite unsafe. Yeah. Okay. So I actually really like Genshin, uh, but some matchups really give him problems. Yeah, I have to imagine there's that that there have to be some things like that. Oh. He has that really cool so counter though with the um. So if he's him and Wong both have the same thing where if they're being hit they can they can actually like get out of the the, the combo or get out of the the knockback with forward forward light I think. Okay. And yeah. for Genshin it just you saw he used it there a couple times it basically sends back the um it shoots some talismans towards the yeah, opponent. Uh, that's that's it yeah I saw that. There's a sword. Oh, he he uh he didn't get the other sword. He aimed it badly. Yeah. But right there, that would have been sword into sword into the into the million stab. Yeah. Oh wow. That is yeah. That was a good teleport. That was a good um talisman switch. And then oh okay, so he didn't take that round, but you saw what happened with the trap. He teleported behind him, and because the trap was behind him, it knocked him back. So they have three more games to play here. So yeah, they've been doing these uh, these round robins. Okay. And you know, they they've given me permission to upload them to 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 my YouTube. So I figured, you know, what what better time to just you know keep track of everything, right? Yeah, totally. And apparently, hold on. Okay, so now it's going to be Rio versus Gates Oldman. Uh, let me see. I find it on, on the Discord, actually. Uh, apparently, Kohatsu uh, uploads uh, gameplay once a week. Oh, that's, mm, that's pretty... Yeah, Kohatsu, that's pretty, yeah. On a pretty consistent basis and a fair amount of matches there. We're doing the yeah. often. So, yeah, All we'll right. see some uh, fair bit of regulars, so that's, that's cool. No, they do. Like, it, it always surprises me like how... The game is still quite popular in Japan. 
like it's not like blowing up but it got a nesica release in 2012 funny yeah, enough in 2012 that. psychic force 2012 yeah that's right um i actually was looking into um if it would be remotely possible to play it on on tenko parrot yeah and see if something could be done with rollback with that because i know that uh they they well they pulled it off with dengeki bunko I gotta, I gotta look into it. It's just I, I don't have enough. I, I actually don't have a lot of um, like knowledge when it comes to working with uh, with like homebrew emulation outside of just setting it up, you know. Like there's plenty of people who like they get go in and they they go into the guts of the game and everything. Oh, that was good. Okay, see the missile? Yeah, the missile recovers quite quickly. Yeah. See, he's doing the slowdown. The problem with that orb is um, if it gets dodged in any way, that's like a free punish every time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see like Ryu's Ryo's so comfortable. <laughs> yeah, he's just pretty much just pretty doing whatever he wants. Well, he's just he, he has a he has a very good understanding of like what the player is yeah. gonna go for. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, he is the the Evo. I think he won in 2019, and he was a runner up in 2020 oh, okay. for Anime Evo. <laughs> Or Evo, ja Evo Japan, Evo Japan, yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah. I remember Evo Japan, they had, they had a lot of different tournaments and such. Yep. Was going on there, so Psychic Force, the Psychic Force tournament went on for a while, actually. Yeah, it must have had a pretty good, uh, pretty nice turnout, I, I would think, from the sounds of it. Good. This should be Hanyan versus Gacho. So Guts versus Genshin. That's an interesting one. Gudef, I don't know why I called him Guts. At some point, I'd like to try the X Japan game, actually. Yeah, I have to imagine if it's, uh, if it's based off uh, basically using the same engine as... as the it's a reskin. It, it, it's, a, it's a straight reskin of... Um, of Psychic Force 2, which is the version of 2012 that was released on the PlayStation. Yeah. Okay, so that meteor attack that that Gudef has, uh, you can beat that by just dashing right in his face. But, yeah, oh, he's gonna set up the. Oh, there was something I wanted to comment on. So right here, uh, Gudef does also have an unblockable setup. He sends out the black hole, right? Yeah. Cool. So typically, you should barrier that whole time. Um, but right here, right? So right here, at that point, when, when the meteor, when everything stops coming in, if you're still barriering, Gudef can, can barrier break you. Oh, okay. But right. it's important to remember that once that stuff stops connecting to you, you stop, uh, barriering. Un uh, unle unless he just gets in and wants to throw you. Um, so this creates a mix-up situation. See right there, they, he let go of the barrier and then barriered again just to get him off. Uh, and then he's got the, uh, that's the bread and butter that Genshin has. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha. Mm. Oh, hey, Rokot Rebel. Yes, this is, this is footage. Oh, oh is the, hold on, is my chat box not working again? <laughs> oh, there it is. Hey, what's up? What's up, Rokaku Rebel? How you doing, man? Mm. Let me see. 
We're watching a uh, we're watching a round robin. Oh. A high level Japanese player oh. round robin for Psychic Force. Yes, 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 yes. 2012. The best Wong and the best Gates are in this yeah. pool. Uh -huh. Let's see. Well, I, well, we saw Rio. Rio got basically nothing but wins. Goes yeah. to show, you know, how good he is. But it, it's not just Wong. It's like he can do the same with Patty. Yeah, okay, so that you see that uh that you see that like meteor ring he has. Yeah. Uh huh. That can shred a health bar completely. Yeah. Uh, ooh, he got the command combo's command throw. That's uh, that's damage. That was good movement there. That was really good actually. <laughs> Yeah. I want to go back to that. Give me one second, because I actually really want to look at that again. See? Okay, so he gets hit. It wasn't with that. Okay, it was with that, and then he just goes to... He shouldn't have charged there. That was the mistake, because he had a ton of meter. You yeah. see? Yeah, he didn't need to charge. Mm-hmm. Was that a hypercharge? No, that was a regular. I thought he did it maybe just for like a brief moment. Let me see it again. Yeah, cause it. It was a regular charge because you can only hypercharge yeah. when when your meter's full. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Gotcha. That makes sense. But yeah, he didn't. A grappler of sorts. Budef is a grappler, but uh, Gacho didn't actually get a lot of throws in that in that game. Yeah. So for that for that first round robin. Uh, I think uh, basically Gacho got one, Hanyang got yeah. one, and Gates Oldman got one, and then Rio won all all his games. Uh, for the next okay, so for the next pool, it's Takun Papa, who is a Genshin player, New, who plays a number of characters, Nokia, who also plays a number of characters, and Lucifer, who is probably the best Emilio. All right, so let's fast forward here. So we're starting with. Let's see. Let's see who we're starting with. I know I saw Carlo and I saw Patty. I think Takum Pop is playing Carlo. You were do you were putting him in a uh, practice mode earlier, right? Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was messing around with him just a little bit, just to play, just to get test the thing and. Wait, okay. That's a really good setup. Did you see that? Yeah, hold on. I guess. I, 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 I put it back. I put it back. Okay, so he throws out the, the bubble, right? Yeah. And he gets a throw. The moment. Yeah. The moment the oh, throw. Wow. Because the bubble still tracks while you're being thrown. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's That's <laughs> yeah. That is sick. That's a really good setup. I didn't. That didn't even occur to me to like even try. The thing with Carlo is he should always generally send out the bubble. Also, uh, it uh, it damages you when it blows up. Oh, okay. So like if the bu if you blow up the bubble and it's near you, it, it you take you take damage from it. Oh. Nice movement. You see what he did there? Okay, so Patty, yeah, he went for the the block string with Patty, but Patty's block strings aren't very good. He went for the super. <laughs> Put it in. Okay, so he's going for a different combo because he's further out. Uh, typically, Carlo's best combo or his most reliable one is uh, you see that kick, that kick projectile he has. You do uh, light. Light strong, I think, and then you send out the kick. He has the weakest bread and butter, though. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Nice. 
A frame, a frame later, and he'd be trapped in the uh, in that wall of uh, wall of notes. Oh, yeah, that's that's something you don't want to be. In. Nope. Sure. It's a really good move. Okay, that's the wall combo. He gets it. Oh, that could have been dirty if he let it go sooner. There's the bubble. <laughs> oh, it's com the comeback. Yeah, oh, boy. Oh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but all the notes are gone now. All the notes are gone. Oh, he waited for the counter. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah he had the counter there, but okay. Oh, I could have gone for a throw, but didn't uh, didn't uh, didn't feel confident with it. That was a good bounce, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm not entirely sure why the uh, why all the counters from from the Carlo player because it's not like Patty's gonna rush you down with buttons. Yeah. That's, uh, that is rather unusual. Yeah, I was actually kind of wondering. I forgot if it was like uh, a counter for projectiles or for no. Uh, it's for um attacks. the projectile counter is Patty. Carlo has oh, okay. the Carlo, Carlo has the physical one. Okay. Oh, hey, Rizzo the Black Bear, how's it going? What's up, man? You here to join in on uh, some like psychic force? Right. Oh, and the wall break. That was tight. All right, let me check something real quick. <laughs> Ooh, and the, and the, the rain break. <laughs> yeah, bringing out the classics. Do your thing, man. Enjoy the arcade. Cool, enjoy. Stay safe out there. Alright, yeah, my chat box is not working great, so you know what? I'm just gonna open it in its own little, uh... In its own little window. Should be good. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate the host. Take it easy. Uh, yeah, so, uh, hopefully this is, uh... Hopefully this is giving you the info you want. Uh, Danny, uh, Rokaku, if, uh, is there any questions you got? Because I know last time you were asking me some stuff. These games should answer, hopefully. Uh, I Also, I believe Nokia is playing Wong, and he's up against Lucifer. So these are two really good players. <laughs> Lucifer, of course, is the best Emilio. <laughs> There's the time stop. Okay, so there. Yeah. The problem with the time stop is it drains all of your meter, not just a hundred, yeah. right? So you have to charge. You have to charge enough. You have to make sure you got the kill, basically. Uh, if you don't, then you basically leave yourself open. That was a good throw. That was a good throw. <laughs> Right. Just barriering back and forth. <laughs> I love that even defense feels offensive in this game. Right? It's all about movement. Let me dash there to get just hesitated, hesitated just a little bit on the yeah. on the punish. I don't think he'll get the kill here. No. If the if the wall bounce worked, he would have had it. Oh, big whiff, but no punish. There it is. He got two beams. Oh, but he he thought he would go to the side, and he ended up going in. They're playing. They're playing the airsies. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, what, what, what should we? What should we call it? 
What the meat? The floaties? Oh, there it was. There it was. I'm gonna go back a bit. Cause he set up the uh, he set up the unblockable. What the meat? Yep. Saw it. Floaties. I like floaties. Thank you, Rokaku. Floaties does sound good. There you go. Oh, he almost set up the unblockable there. Oh, that would have been it if he didn't go for the throw. There. He was. He really wanted the throw. Yeah. No, he. Um, that wasn't gonna be a barrier break. That was a straight up uh, prism. <laughs> so the thing about prisms is, they're very hard to punish. But they're not impossible to punish. So if someone makes the read and they go in and press a button, you're going to be vulnerable. Yeah. Let's see the next game. They're already getting into it. This should be Carlo versus. Okay, yeah, Carlo versus Wong. So Takum Papa versus Nokia. There's the bubble. He did the setup again. That is such a sick setup. Look how much damage he's already taken. Carlo's not really known for damage, too. Yeah. That bubble's really good. If he could send out more than one... Oh, that's gonna be... Oh, he dropped the combo. Yeah, that bubble setup is really cool. Uh, it's not even that hard. You just... You have a bubble out already. It, it'll, it should generally track to your... To your opponent. And then you just get, get him in a throw. And his throw takes so long that you'll typically be able to connect. So, hey, that's the juice. This character is a little juicy. He's just also a little dry. Uh, what's up, newbie? You finally got the controller working, I hope. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You said you did. Carlo is a lot of setup. He's also a lot of, um, he's, he's kind of like a pretty uh, clean, safe zoner. He can play a very safe game. Like, if you don't want to do the dirty stuff, you just want to play defensively. I'd say he's probably the best defensive character of the game. I, well, I guess not counting when Patty has all her notes. Yeah. No, the bubble the bubble's amazing. The, the fact... What separates the bubble from everything else also is like the bubble will take a hit. Yeah. Like they can go in and try to hit you with something. The bubble will just eat whatever it is for you. That was a really nice barrier break. There it is. Wall bounce straight into the. Uh... Oh wow, that's dirty. Nice, but he didn't get it in time. Yeah, Carlos normals are they're long range, but they're not the fastest. Yeah. Nice, good read. Oh, he tried to slide dash around, but that's a guaranteed throw setup. Not setup, it's a guaranteed throw. And that should be it. Nokia knocks him out. Alright, so right now Nokia has two wins. <laughs> And now it's going to be new with Patty versus versus Lucifer. Okay. Oh, that's going to be something. Yep. So these are the two most setup heavy characters in the game. Yeah. You know what the funny thing is is Patty actually doesn't have such a terrible match against uh, Emilio. Oh, Despite despite the fact that, you know, that uh She's very low in the tier compared to him. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing, okay, so there's a few advantages she has over over Emilio, right? Yeah, Emilio is better offensively with his setup, but Patty can put. I think Emilio can put like. Eight, eight prisms on the stage at a time. I thought there was, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Exactly. I thought there was like 
Because I know I think with like the super that prism to shoot the three lasers, you can only have one of those <laughs> out. If I'm right, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Whereas <laughs> Patty, she can yeah, have like so, I don't know well, if there's actually a limit. She has. Any she has no the highest there okay so each character has a limit i know that patty actually has the highest limit yeah. out of all the setup characters uh carlo has the lowest since you can only put out one bubble at a time um genshin has he can put out five traps right the problem the other problem is how long the setup tools last so emilio's prisms emilio's prisms i think last 10 to 15 seconds um, Patty's notes stay on stay on the stage for a whole thirty eight seconds. Yeah. Hold on, I need I need to see that. I need to see that. Uh, we got to comment on that because that was a really good counter. But that's a really good setup there by the Amila player. That's like fifty percent. Hold on, I need to I need to go back to that. So what happened here? Oh wow. Because I thought I saw Patty get the counter her counter off. Yeah, she did. So here's what happens, yeah. right? Here's what happens. Um, Patty's counter reacts to the first hit of the laser. But because the laser doesn't stop until it leaves completely, until it goes through everything, it's still active. So he gets the counter successfully, and it hits Emilio, but the beam still hits... Uh, Patty on the way down, but because of that, Patty can co can confirm into the into the the bounce note. Oh my gosh! That is so that just things just happen to work out that way. Yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot to experiment with in this game. Yeah, totally. And I think also part of what makes with the reason part of what makes sense that Patty's uh, notes stay out the longest is the fact that oh, aside from the know. arc, she can't manually oh, get. She has, the only way she can detonate him is she can actually like with her, with, with like, her oh, own projectiles. Yeah, with her projectiles, that's how she'll do it. Yeah. So, which is not hard for her to do. Yeah, because she can throw stuff all over pretty well. I mean, she also has that one special that it just bounces around the, the ring. So it could just be hitting them all, 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 all across the... Ah, it crosses. <laughs> oh no, he got the, the install. <laughs> so, the problem with that ring is now the patty player can't bury her at all. It's one of the nuttiest things that Emilio has. So right there, that was a close game. Uh, it was closer than it looked, even though it was like 3-1. Uh, but yeah, that was that was tight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lucifer. Yeah, Patty counter, using the counter, getting hit out of the counter from a random <laughs> laser, but still being able to to to, to follow up with that. That's that. that that's the highlight of that. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. All right, so now it's Takum Papa versus Lucifer. <laughs> Oh, he didn't respect it. All right, Lucifer's being very aggressive. So far, Carlos not let. So far, not really letting. At least doing a good job. Nice. Defending up until now. Oh, the bubble! The bubble blew up. They're both in like kill at like kill range there. Good burst. Nice. That was a really good play there from Taco Papa. Ooh. Yeah. Alright, that's gonna be... Oh, he, he went for the super. He really didn't need to. The problem with that super is it has a ton of startup. Regina has the same problem with hers. Like, it's very hard to combo into them unless you, like, absolutely know you're going to get it. Or, like, you're at the perfect yeah. range. That was a good setup. But he should have stayed closer to the to the bubble. Oh, wow. That's right behind. Oh. Trying to get a ball. Got a ball pull off, but he wasn't able to really use it much. Yeah.
see. That was good defensive use of the bubble. I think you're a little behind me, uh, but... Yeah, that's probably what's happening, so it's like, I'm seeing it, like, a little, like, a few seconds later. Well, yeah, because cause the stream the stream's going to be a little bit behind. Can you hear yourself on the stream, by the way? You should be able to. Yeah, it should be. I mean, I have to mute my phone because since I'm because south, because then if that I... That works. That works for me. Mute my phone screen, but it should be able to. There you go. I heard it. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, okay. No, that's fine. I usually got to do it at store stuff just to make sure I'm... Oh, that was good. My audio is on whenever I stream. It's working fine. Oh, did I? Did I? That's good. All right. He's at... He's at game point. So one of the things about Carlos normals is they have a ton of range. Despite the fact that he's not like an up close character, like that kick is that kick reaches very far. Yeah, that's because a normal, yeah, it's so that's like a just about a character length away compared to like most other normals that you know most people have. Pretty much. Oh he went he had that's the big prism there too. Oh, he's set up there. Oh, no. Okay, so you can't... Okay, I stand corrected. You can still barrier, but it'll break, like, within a, a frame or two. So you just have to be... Ooh. That was a good... I saw a good bubble there. Alright, that's very close. One second. I'm just gonna go on mute just for a second. Sure. What's with the ring? Okay, so Emilio has a offensive install. The ring is one of the strongest moves in the game. Uh, effectively, what it does is it does no damage, but it makes it so that whenever the opponent barriers, if the ring is around them, the barrier will basically be broken within a couple frames. Uh, let me actually go back because you can actually see it happening here. Okay, so let's take a look at it here. You'll notice it does no damage on its own. There. Yeah, it does no damage on its own. So you're going to see here that... Okay, you see how it broke like immediately without any actual like input? Yeah. Because you see those shards around it, that means it broke. That means it was a barrier break. So what it means is um, the ring makes it so that your barrier will only be active for like a couple frames. So you, it means you have to treat it more like, I guess, uh, a just defend or something like that instead of just holding it, right? Um, it's a very oppressive, very strong tool. <laughs> we already saw the end of this one. Let me fast forward a little. All right, welcome back. Uh, we're moving on to New versus Nokia. It becomes a party parry almost. Yeah, it becomes like a parry. It beca it's a little closer to like a just defend. If the ring is around you, you have to treat it more like a just defend. The ring is risky though, so if you can't combo into it, it it's it's a it's a very unsafe move uh, in terms of like it's very easy to get around. All right, top tier versus low tier. Oh, this ought to be something. New is, well, New is a very good player. How can you just show you? But so is Nokia. Right now, Nokia won both games. New has won against. Uh, <laughs> new won against Takum Pop. Takum Pop actually lost all the games. Jeez. Uh, they're a Genshin player as well, but I guess they wanted to play Carlo. <laughs> <laughs> Hattie can be very frightening when she gets set up. She just. I guess if I was compared to something, it's like, uh, I mean, how familiar are you with Killer Instinct? A little bit. I just, like, as far as new Killer Instinct, I mean, I know more or less kind of like what the characters kind of do, just not like super, super, super in depth. But I know a little bit. I know some things. Well, I guess, you know how Spinal is much stronger once he has the skulls? 
Yes. It's basic. It's basically like that. Like without the skulls, it, it's not very it's frightening. It's not very impressive. <laughs> With the skulls, it's a whole other story. Like she becomes really scary when the screen is filled with notes. That was a good retreat barrier. There's a time stop. Yeah, he just wanted to deal with all that stuff. All right, by the way, uh, newbie or anyone else uh, who's watching, uh, anyone else in the, in the chat, uh, I am in the... Me, me and me and Incident are in the uh, Psychic Force 2012 Discord voice chat. So if you'd like to join the stream, if you'd like to join in and have any questions, you know, feel free to go for it. That's the whole idea of this thing. Okay, combo? No. I am gonna try to do the Carlo uh, throw setup though. That was kind of sick. Oh, good. Now we're just, and now we are actually playing footsies. Yeah. Okay. Notes are here. Yeah, oh goodness. Hey, Ooh. Kind of really strong defensively. Tell me. <laughs> Tell me you saw that barrier break. Yeah, I saw it. Oh my god, I just saw that right now. It just showed up on for, for my stream. Wow. That round was, was something else. All right, it's doing a. I will say this: Nokia is doing a very good job of just avoiding the notes. Yeah. Oh wow! The fact that that note was blowing up, and then the the bouncing projectile was already catching up, and then bouncing toward him, and he had to block both of them right there. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That was a bad. Uh, yeah. Okay, Nokia takes Nokia takes it. So moving on to the alternating bracket. Let me get to that right now. That's what they did, they just switched it around. So this one is Gates Oldman, Gotcho, Takum Papa, and Nu. And the next bracket is Nokia, Lucifer, Hanyan, and Ryo. So we are starting with, I believe, Gacho and New. Yeah. Gacho playing Genshin and New playing Patty. And one of the things I actually really like about Patty compared to like Emilio, right? Emilio has to set up his notes. Um, he has to set up his notes where he uh, where he is. Yeah. Patty can just throw the notes. She can throw the 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 familiar out, and it'll make notes for her. Uh -huh. So she can choose where the notes go because she can aim that thing. Yeah, nah, that makes sense. That was a good reversal. There you go. This match is a little bit more even, I think. It's funny because they're both trying to do the same things. It's a little hard to commentate it because there's just so much setup going on. Yeah, uh, uh -huh. yeah and that's kind of like one of the things with this game as far as just being aware of everything. 
like as far as playing it but then commentating because and then being aware like with what, whatever's on the screen and how they act and how they how they take effect and everything else it takes some familiarity uh one of the yeah. things is one of the things is especially in matches like this there's so much going on like right there patty 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 set off all the notes yeah It's also the fact that, I mean, Genshin gets his old... His oh, that was his good. Out. The fact that he can also manually detonate them himself. Oh, with the with the Tims? Yeah. The foot that yep. pops out. Oh! Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pause it for a second. Okay. Yeah. He did, like, a DP thing. Let me know when you see it, because I want to... Like, Patty went for the big Radiant Wave. Yeah. Which is basically her DP. So, what I see here is... Yeah, that's insane. Is Genshin's death curse practical at all? Uh, what do you mean by the death curse, specifically, newbie? Hey, Kimi, I'm thinking he's talking about the <laughs> Genshin super the style, and then you have to do the, the digital motions. Oh, the deadly rave. The, yeah. The multi-input move? Uh, it, it does it does standard damage that a super would do. You can you can certainly uh, connect into it from afar. Uh, typically, you don't see it very often, but it's not like the death. I would say this: if you can do it like execution wise and you don't have any issues, more power to you. Um, but you don't see a lot of Genshin players like going for it. It's not like the damage is that much greater than like a normal super. Yeah, I don't know if they, there's other ways to, as far as comboing into it. You can, you can, you can from a distance with a wall bounce. But, but yeah, the damage you'll get from it is not, like, amazing. Um, but it's not a bad move. Like, if you can hit it, if you can hit it consistently, it's, it's got its uses. Yeah, and, uh, like I pointed out the last time we were playing, I'll fun fact. The motion for the, for It's a pentagram, right? Yeah, it's a star. Yeah. It's like, if you start from up, you up, you go to the down back. Like, this is facing, you know, assuming you're facing to the right. You go up, to down, back, to right, to left, to down, yeah. forward, up, and then, you, and then, like, three other buttons, like, two, uh, two buttons, yeah. two buttons, and then, like, it's, it's two, like, it's yeah. two, it's two of the two button combinations, and then all three buttons. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, and you can do the, and you can do the pentagram either facing up or facing down. Yeah. So, I mean, I didn't so even, much. I didn't even realize that. This whole yeah. time, I was just like, oh, that's a weird command. Now it occurs to me, it's a pentagram. You just draw a pentagram with your with your D-pad or your stick, which is pretty cool. It, it, it's a, it, it makes it easy, uh, like, uh, it's an easy motion that you get the concept that it's like, oh wow, this, the, 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 the command itself is easy. You just have to get the timing of when to do the inputs, which is, it isn't too hard. No, yeah, it's not. Experience. What it, Once you can imagine it in your head, it's like, it's a star. I'm drawing a star. Yeah, it, yeah, it just makes it much easier. Ooh, this is an interesting know. match. <laughs> This is this could be this could be yeah. Genshin versus Gates. Yeah. Buster Bob. Ooh, sorry. Ah. Oh, the lightning. Ooh, the yeah. boomerang. Against the wall is. Okay, so Gates immediately went for a, a supercharge for the damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Genshin's, uh, is, um, the okay, so I really want to see the really damaging uh, Gates combo, which is the knockback into the wall, into the rocket punch. Right. And then the rocket punch pull ba pulls back, and he has the pile bunker. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, because I was thinking, because I know there's that follow up, and then there's the other one where he just he throws another rocket punch after. Yeah, that. Okay, so the other rocket punch is easier, but the pile bunker is the one that does like a ton of damage. Okay. That one is that one like distance specific or like does like it, the it, okay. Pull them in you have to be like, the issue the issue with the rocket punch is this: the closer you are, the harder it is to connect the follow up. Right. Okay. But yeah, if, it yeah, but if you knock them back far enough, and you're like at a distance, you can do the rocket punch a lot easier. Gates' problem is he's big and slow. Yeah. 
Oh, there it is. He went for the rocket punch into the pile bunker. There it is. Come another one. No, he went for the... Okay. See, this is a good setup. The thing about Gates is, like, he's really good if you have good reads. With Genshin, it's more like you set up the talismans. You try to manipulate your opponent into going into them. With Gates, it's, it's, it's knowing... It's having an idea of what the opponent's going to do. Especially because he has the worst mobility in the game along with Gouda. Uh, yeah, so you, you, you're, you pretty much have to... You have to play more largely have to play out what your opponent's doing. On top yeah. Of right there. Okay, I'm going to go back a bit. He goes the, He goes into the, the electro grab, into the... Into the rocket punch bunker. And that did a really nice chunk of damage. Oh, that was a good round end. You're going to see that round end in a second. Yeah. The cl he, he, I didn't even. He didn't. He probably. Didn't, he probably didn't even think the cluster bomb was, was like still there. It's surprising. It's always surprising to me. Yeah. So yeah, that missile, that regular missile is a very good projectile. It just, it just has a few weaknesses. Like I said, you can't really aim it. Oh, the Tims! But there's the the lightning. Three to two. That was good. Yeah, Alright, let me fast forward it. Alright, next is Takum Papa versus uh, Gates Oldman. So it's gonna be Carlo versus Gates. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think I'll do one more and then I will I think I'll take a break for a second if that's cool with you <laughs> all right take like a five minute break but I want to finish this one because this is an interesting matchup too yeah this, is, this one will be pretty fun that's So yeah, if you're going to hit that lightning, it gets a ton of pushback, but it's very unsafe if it gets uh, dodged. Yeah. Alright, I like how, uh... oh no, he tried to DP, but rocket punch after the electro ball. Alright, bubble. Bubble's in play. Another bubble. Oh, there's a light. You know what character I'm surprised I don't actually see much from the Japanese players? Uh, Setsuna. He suffers pretty badly up close, but his long-range tools are very good. Yeah, considering you have a, you get, you get his black hole off, you have his darkness fields. Oh, that was good. And, and the, the glass prison thing. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, I, I rolled it back a bit, but there's a, there's a little sequence there I needed to see again. Okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. Ooh, that's sweet. Kohatsu has a set to the player. Yeah, no, I know. I'm just saying with the with the uh, the PF2012 crew newbie, uh, I don't really see a lot of them gravitate towards. Uh, Gravitate towards Setsuna and the round robins or in the little tournaments they do. I'd say Patty's more popular than Setsuna there. Camera. Yeah, but overall, I mean, we're, we're, I've seen, we're seeing a pretty decent spread of characters. Yeah. Overall, yeah. Carlo, nice. we see, Carlo versus Gates is a pretty unique match. Yeah. Which does speak. Uh, nice thing about the game itself as far as it's, it's pretty it, it's yeah. pretty damn well balanced actually like even even uh 
even with characters like Emilio and Wong, right? There are ways to beat this stuff. You just gotta, you just gotta get used to it. Nice, yeah. nice pile bunker. Oh, oh straight in with the cluster bomb. Yeah. Right? It's, it's real anime fight. It's real anime fighting. It's the true, you know? uh, it's the true anime fighter. It's the most anime ah! fighter. Mm -hmm. Out of all of them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Carlo with those. Well, the irony in that is that the developers admitted that they were inspired by X. Yeah. Because X, if you've ever watched it or read it, it also has the cube thing where they make a cube. Yeah, no, but it happens. It, ha it happens in the film where they create the barrier. It probably did. It was a manga entertainment release, so it probably did. Um, it's a weird movie, but it looks beautiful. Yeah. Like it looks gorgeous, so. <laughs> Yeah, because I do remember the whole thing and making the cube where they fight. Mm -hmm. I do remember like that. So it, the irony is, the irony is, yeah, they they were inspired by X and then ended up being asked to make a game of X, and then they did it. Yeah, it all came full circle. Never mind the fact that this game was supposed to be the original Psychic Force was supposed to be the sequel to Kaiser Knuckle. I yeah. When I heard that, I there's an interview online. I'm gonna see if I can post the link again in the uh, in the Discord. But there is an interview online with the developers. They did it for like the anniversary of the of the game. And I think for the ne I think for the Nessica release too, they talked about it also. Uh, but they were like that it's Taito, so they were like, yeah, we were. We were gonna make the next Kaiser Knuckle game, and then eventually they kind of settled on with like, because Psychic Force is it's pretty distinct from Kaiser Knuckle. Yeah. Oh, funny enough, Polar Bear is running the Dankuka Battlegrounds number fourteen. Yep. Right now, so yeah. Does it? If anybody wants to catch that, feel free. It's it's good stuff there too. Yeah, I would recommend if you're interested in a pretty fun old game that. uh I think deserves a few more eyes on it. It, it, it should, I don't know. It, it, it kind of has the same vibe as like um, Breaker's Revenge, and that it's a very fun old game. Yeah. It's very fun. It's very niche. It's very unique. I would say what uh, you know, it, it, it has a training mode also in the arcade version. Yeah. So. Yeah, which is amazing that they they came up with that at that time. But that yeah. Was something that you never... Well now, 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 like you, you pop in the Dengeki arcade port, it just yeah. has the training mode in it, you know. Yeah, totally. But yeah, the Aiku got it. Yeah, that time. And, and, and this is a game that was technically not released, but I don't know if it was technically finished. Kaiser, really Kaiser was, Knuckle, like, Kaiser yeah. Knuckle didn't have a training mode, right? Yeah, I let's be real. What other fighting game can you play as Bobby Brown? True. I mean, Yeah, exactly. How do you compete with that? Yeah. How do you compete with that? It's his prerogative. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so New takes it, and then that leaves us with two more games here. Let me fast forward it again. Uh, is the stream running fine for you, by the way? Yeah, it's fine. I'm running it on my phone at the moment, so, but it's 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 looking pretty good. Sure. It's slight. I don't know if it's maybe just from the video or whatever. It's like, but it seems fine as far as, yeah, like, it's running pretty smooth. Well, overall. if. Like, I can, I can clearly see what's happening. If there's issues with the the playback of the video, some of it is that um they did play on Parsec. Yeah. Parsec is it's a nice solution, but it's not perfect. Yeah, like anything, it's gonna, it's gonna have oh. its little things. Yeah. But 
but you know, overall, I mean, for the, it's overall pretty reliable in most cases. At least just from my experience, I haven't used it much, but it's yeah, at least for most and for most, most people who are saying it, what they've been able to do with it thus far. It's uh, yeah. Okay, so now we got Takum Papa versus, uh, I believe Gacho. And this is now thinking about with this and Donku guys that Taito didn't make that many fighting games. No. Thinking about it, which is amazing because like the few that at least with the, the case of those two, they're overall <laughs> solid and put well put together. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, you have fight and fight and Dino Rex, but well, let's not let's let's not mince words about violence fight and how good of a game that is, right? Sure, sure, good point. I mean, where else can you have a guy you play somebody who killed thirteen people while playing? So, yeah. You know, Ooh, what, man, again, no comparison. I mean, it's just like how Dr. got here, but you can play Bobby Brown. I mean, yeah. What can you? Yeah. So, so, sometimes, sometimes Taito just hits right. And, and, and they've done it on on many levels, whether it's like maybe maybe like just you know a platforming action or, or shooter of some sort, or or even just doing like a lot of different like weird types of things, you know, like, you look at things like Camel Tree or or just like other puzzle type games and other things like that. They do like they, they, they just did stuff, and a lot of times, I mean, they'll have their moments that are like. Not the greatest, but sometimes they'll just hit things that are just like, it just uh, worked. And they just have a thing to them, you know? Just kind of interesting that. It's no, of course. It's something that has, has occurred to me in, you know, in, in more recent years, and then, you know, just from following some other people and, and seeing it, and then, you know, thinking about the sort of thing more in depth, it's like, oh, yeah, okay. Because cool. you think about even some of their earlier stuff, like, they made cakes. Uh, and even while they didn't really invent breakout, but then look what they did with Arkanoid when they, you know, added stuff like, you know, all the other concepts to it, like uh, power-ups and other things. And and there's actually this one game called Raymaze, which is kind of like a similar like thing like Pac-Man, but then there's like <laughs> different paths to different levels and other sort of power-ups. And uh, yeah, the way that the enemies uh, react, like there's uh, there's somebody, yeah, like taking that thing apart a ton. And yeah, it's it's amazing stuff that a lot of the stuff in depth that goes in that went into that. I mean, I feel like uh I know it sounds weird and it probably sounds reductive, Aww. and I know it's not entirely true, but I feel like the the big like I mean back then that was AAA gaming. Yeah. But I feel like the general like game industry at the AAA level has become a lot less creative, you know? Right, no, I, I like I in the nineties yeah, like in the '90s, a lot of it was like, "Let's see if this will work." Like Psychic Force is that kind of game, mm -hmm. but you know, like the average big big money fighting game isn't very uh, unique anymore. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, I I'm I'm looking forward to Guilty Gear Strive, but yeah, no, totally. And they're doing they're doing great stuff with you know a lot of the, a lot of new things that are coming out that have come out in recent years and. You know, a lot of stuff that we've seen often, or at least in different forms, or this and that. But then, you know, like you said, just just trying stuff, and and also thinking about it, like back then when arcades were like a bigger uh, thing. I mean, you know, that's where you saw like a lot of the bigger budgets with stuff, and then especially when you couldn't really play them uh, at home at that time. Well, everything had to stand out, right? Yeah, exactly. Especially like, when you have like, consider stuff like the uh, what Yu Suzuki was putting out with Sega, when stuff like Hang On, where you know you actually ride on the bike, sat or like those cabinets, where you sit down and actually drive a steering wheel and that sort of thing, and all sorts of things like that, like you know, and that's even then something you can't completely recreate at home unless you happen to have like maybe a garage or something set up for that. <laughs> to have the room for that sort of thing and even then there's even stuff that you just can't do anywhere i mean think of mouth like maybe galaxy force 2 or maybe g lock where they have like those rotating pla uh, things where you're you're sitting down and it's like moving all over the place and such yeah so yeah and then the, mu the budget to go into that on top of making the game itself to as far as how it plays and that sort of thing and then you know yeah oh that's gonna hurt 
Okay, so that machine gun, uh, the oh. light projectile that, that uh, Gates has, that move is much stronger. Um, that move is much stronger the closer you are, actually. Okay. Yeah. The further you are, the easier it is to dodge. Right, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, because it, it does, you know, it, and even the fact that if you're, you're kind of dodging, it does move, like, in a spread also. So, yeah, that's, that kind of makes sense. So. There's a rocket punch into the pile bunker. Okay, so I want you to see what a deficit that new is at. And just still going hard on gates. Good read. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to think like what's the most recent fighting game I've played that like has is very unique. I like I've been getting into Killer Instinct again and it's distinct, it definitely is. Yeah, I mean there's definitely a lot of really unique ideas that hadn't really been tried, you know, anywhere else, or at least that that you know, or just at all given you know, two D fighters in one. So. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, and the, and the character variety in that is 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 all yeah, over the place. Oh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know when it started changing. Uh, I will say this: um, I actually went back and read some of the old uh, Psychic Force reviews, mm -hmm. and man, w when 2012 came out, critics were not fond of it. And I think it's a little crazy because the game that people compared it to mostly was Soul mm -hmm. Calibur. Yeah, that's like that. And the only thing those two games have in common is that they're both fighting games. Yeah, so those are like two completely <laughs> different <laughs> things there, so it's like I mean a lot you see a lot of people like you know, they you know, they make those kind of comparisons that aren't really comparisons, which like yeah. I'm not sure how they come to that sort of conclusion. You know. Or yeah. Even make sense. Well, I mean, it's. I, I don't know what it is. I, it, maybe it was the idea that, like, oh, uh, don't play this fighting game because this fighting game's better. But. I don't know. That just feels uh, off to me. You know? Yeah. Alright, so I'm actually. I'm actually going to pause the, the video for now. I'm going to take a little uh, five minute break, a little bathroom break. Yeah. And, okay, cool. and we'll be back in a second. Alright. Cool. All right. All right so, tight, everybody. Back in a few. Mm. I'll go on mute for a bit.
All right, we should be back. Let's test this out. How do you guys sound good? Video's playing. All right, so Lewis incident, not back yet. Uh, but we can still watch games. So let's do that. Oh no, it restarted. That's unfortunate. You know what? We're gonna look for where we were. If I remember correctly. Didn't it? I think we were here. I want to say we were around here. I saw Patty versus Genshin. Oh, okay. huh? Could be wrong. All right. Uh, hey, do you remember what the last match we watched was? Because the video restarted because I switched horses. Big rip. I mean, it's not the end of the world. But I'm pretty sure it was, uh, it was Gates and Carlo. That's when we watched. And the next one would be... Patty and Genshin. <laughs> I think it's a rematch from the previous one. <laughs> Turn down the game. Oh no. There you go. Hey, thanks. Thanks, Rokaku. <laughs> I just realized I had the alerts behind the video. I gotta, I gotta work on that. As my cat is giving me giving me uh, the business. Gates versus Carlo. All right. All right. Thanks, man. Uh, so yeah, we are watching now. What I believe is fairly certain. It is Takum Papa versus New, or it could be Gaucho versus New. Pretty sure it's Gaucho. Gaucho. They have two setup characters. Really uh, not going in for the pressure. All right, so let's see what we could comment on here. Uh, Are you back? Yeah, it's a set of characters. Mm -hmm. I think I hear myself. Yeah, yeah, I, don't, I have to meet my phone again, so. All right, it's all good. So it doesn't. Oh, it's so all. My mic doesn't catch it. It's okay. Okay, I like I like the sound of my own voice. It's not a problem. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm one of those rare rare people. Yeah, and sometimes I, you have to you have to from time you have to kind of feel yourself like that from time to time. Yeah, yeah, it's important to it's important to love oneself. Yeah. <laughs> as it as it were. Yeah, it's something I'm I'm trying to do, you know, be better at overall in general. Yeah. One know, day, which is it's gone along. One day at a time. Exactly. Oh, that was a good note detonation. Good counter with the uh you're gonna see a good counter there with the uh, with Patty. All right, and the game sounds good to you. Yeah, it sounds it sounds fine. All right, awesome. Good counter with the. Yeah. All right, moving on. Next is. Carlo versus Genshin. This one's weird. That's a. That's gonna be something of a. It's an interesting matchup. That's a really good setup off the Soul Mine. 
Yeah, the old man. The old man's quite good. That was a free Tim's. He didn't go for it, but that was definitely a free Tim's there. And I'm pretty sure we saw this one. I I want to say, but I but it doesn't seem I, I it doesn't seem to be ringing a bell. At least not immediately. I mean, we can put it on again. It's not like this game takes yeah. forever. Yeah, true. I mean, yeah, matches are are overall they go pretty pretty quick. All right, Genshin takes the round. There's the bubble. There's the DP. It's 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 interesting to me that in this game DPs are kind of like an area and effect attack. Yeah. Like it's just something that hits all around you, you know. Uh huh. Oh, he went for the um. He went for yeah. the. He went for the deadly rave. But it was yeah, and it, and I think it would make sense considering since. You have such a degree of movement as far as, and then from where you can attack from, that it, having a DP that works in that kind of way in like a similar manner that like a 2D game would, you know, it, it makes it, it does make sense to have something like that to, for it to work in that kind of manner. I mean, it, it's it's a DP in the sense that it, it kind of works as a reversal. Like you're not going to yeah. get anything off it, but you are going to get them off of you. Right. Mm -hmm. And then different characters have different ones. Uh, Regina's is quite good. It's also really good for combos. Yeah, oh, that's true. Keefs is like it, Keefs is very good for hitting around him. Yeah. Uh huh. Did, wait, I don't think Might had one. I don't recall. No, Might doesn't. Think so yeah, yeah. I think the closest thing Might has is uh, he redirects the the beam. Oh, yeah. You know what I just realized? The that doesn't affect the talismans. Yeah. Well, so the that's... DP doesn't affect them, but the projectiles do. Yeah. Okay. Okay, he's about to about to lose here. Yeah. Oof. He hesitated and he dashed back, and, and yeah. in this game, running away is actually a very bad option. Mm -hmm. Because if you dash backwards, you're you're vulnerable during the dash. Yeah, it's much more if you're gonna if you're gonna try to avoid someone dashing to the side is a lot better. But then you open yourself up to the neutral dash. Right. So now we have Gates versus Patty. Yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be an interesting. Oh yeah. The notes. This is the low tier. This is the the realm of the low tiers here. Yeah, I, I, yeah, and usually, yeah, sometimes in, in 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 most games like that where you have like kind of low tier characters, that's usually like you see a lot of really fun stuff happen. Yeah, and then you know maybe just certain matchups just work that way, you know. Well, a lot of this game is like it's low tier on paper, you know. Yeah. Right. Right, first round in the bag. Kyle Bunker. Yeah. That hurts. That's the activated two notes there. Pile bunker. You saw how much damage the pile bunker alone did, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, that thing. That sucker hurts. Almost, almost making that comeback. Yep, there you go. Yeah. See, I think we saw this one too. Yeah, I'm trying to think, but then I don't recall. I'm not sure if I remember seeing uh, the pile box, the the 
Kate's landing the pile bunker off the off the thing there. At least in the, if, if if this matchup had already had happened previously. I mean, we only, we only got a little bit left. Yeah. I don't mind streaming a little bit longer than uh, than 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's no biggie. I mean, it's the weekend. It's Friday. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, the weekend. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Daniel Craig. Yeah. All that pushback. Oh, got the counter. Another counter. That's really good. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think we saw this one. All right. I mean, it's over now, so. Yeah. On to the next. Next up, we have. This should be. The start of the next, uh, the next pool. So in the last, in the last pool, it was New who won all the games. Now I believe we have Nokia versus Lucifer or Rio. There's two Wongs in this pool right now. Okay, right. Yeah, there's Nokia and there's Rio. And I believe Hanyan is also playing Pilio. <laughs> I could be wrong. <laughs> oh, okay, he stopped blocking. Uh, he stopped doing barrier so he wouldn't get a uh, barrier broken. Oh, that's going to hurt. The reed with the sword. Okay, so I like what he's doing now. He's instead of being on on the offensive with Emilio, he's trying to set up as many prisms as he can. Yeah, and I can imagine wait, if you're fighting somebody like Wong, probably would help. Oh yeah, the harder you can make it for Wong to like not get hit, yeah, the better off your situation is gonna. Be. Mm -hmm. There you go. And, of course, as we know in this game, whatever you put on stage stays on stage the next round. Mm -hmm. The stage does not reset. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty important because you're pretty much already, like, even setting up for, like, the next round ahead and already giving yourself an advantage. Yeah. Oh, wow. Like, if you're you playing Pat, if you're playing Patty, if you're playing Emilio, you're, uh, you know, you're basically planning ahead, basically, more or less. Uh -huh. Because you can give up a whole round just to set up notes. Uh-huh. All right, that was fast. I'm guessing that was Lucifer. So I guess we'll find out when they update the score here. Okay, yeah, so Hanyan is playing Gudef, and this is either Nokia or Rio. There's a teleport. There's the gravity ball. Oh, he went for the the wall, the wall shape. Oh. Mm. But they got out of it. <laughs> yeah, good thing too, because uh, yeah, I think wall shape uh, does. This is a nice damage. chunk. It does. It, it's basically Gudef's uh, far wall combo, Ender. Yeah. If he's oh, okay. up close, he just goes for the regular command throw. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, there it is. Command throw by itself is gonna hurt like a, gonna mm -hmm. hurt like crazy. Yeah. Um. Actually, that's all. Now that I'm thinking about, it, I was one. Uh, now that to probably get that ask. Is there like damage scaling as far as like with combos or okay. just boom hitting? So, or anything like that. if you combo into the wall, the wall causes anything you do afterwards to lose about 50% of its damage. Okay. So, a standard, um, I want to say the average bread and butter combo will do about 300 damage. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. w because any follow up you do after it hits to the wall, you'll it'll scale down to a point, right? So what happens then is, uh, you know, you get basically super a little under like 300 usually for most characters okay. there's the wall shave go straight in with the unsafe move he wanted a frame trap i know what that was yeah there are frame traps in this game oh okay yeah. oh good good normal block on the barrier so yeah barrier breaks are um they're completely useless against normal guard it, yeah. it's, it's they're just going to be completely unsafe Okay. So a normal guard will we'll just beat them. <laughs> okay, so they didn't update the previous pool. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, Lucifer was the one who won that one against Nokia. So Nokia was playing, uh, I believe it was Emilio there. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they was, he was, I no, Wong. He... Nokia was playing Wong. Sorry. Yeah, Lucifer was the one playing Emilio. That's yeah, right. Lucifer's playing right now. Um, I'm sorry, Lucifer was playing before. Now it's uh, either Nokia or Rio playing against Hanyan. And that's going to kill. Uh, so yeah, Gudev, Gudev has the most damaging combo in the game. He just goes light strong into command throw. Oh yeah, okay. And it gives you 347 damage, which is basically a super. Yeah, <laughs> Very good. Yeah, and then uh, second in, in second place to that is uh, Burn, actually. <laughs> who has the most combos in the game. <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright, so let's move ahead. Okay, so that was one of the Wongs. Now he has to play against the other Wong. Oh. <laughs> Don't know which Wong it is, though. All Night Wong. All Night Wong. <laughs> Richard. <laughs> AKA Dick Wong. All right, there's the there's the throw. No barrier retreat. All right. There. Oh, raw command throw. See how see how it did like close to fifty percent. Yeah, dang. Yeah, you 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 see that damage. You He's feel a it. That's that's the grappler. Oh, he went right into the sword. All right, regular throw. Yeah, I'm guessing this is Rio because Nokia already played. Oh no, Rio lost to. Hanya? Wait. Because they just updated the score a little bit. Oh. Now I know this is Rio, but who is... Who is who? Israel gets a little nutty. Let me fast forward. Look at the score. Okay, so that was Hanyan. So Hanyan beat Rio. But I think that was Nokia. Hanyan lost to Nokia. Okay, yeah. It, it, whenever there's two of a character in one pool, it's a little hard, especially when they pick the same color. Yeah, uh, no, of course. I think the only character with three colors in this game is Emilio. Yeah, I think that has to do with uh, it's the, the wings. Different... Yeah, and then it's actually also story reasons because one of them is like right here, Emilio, when he's brainwashed, or the other one is when he's freed, or something like that. And the, and the other one, the last one's like evil Emilio. Yeah, that's it. One of the things about this game that always stood out to me is like how sad the story is. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's the deal, but Taito doesn't seem to want to make sequels because they just keep killing off the characters. Yeah, because I think it was like, is it like 
technically, like, well, first off, Gates's family was killed, I think, and then they put his brain into a robot yeah. or something. Yeah. And then, was it Mike's parents killed? But but isn't he like from the future and like? Addie's okay, so the twist or something. The twist is that he's from the future and he was sent to the past, and Patty's his mom. But then he kills Patty. Uh, and it's it's just it's a mess. It's a mess. Like it's a, it's a kind of it's kind of a cool story, but it's it's very uh it's very uh, melodramatic, very anime. Yeah. <laughs> and and seemingly in all the endings, something bad happens. <laughs> Except Wong. Wow. Wong. Wong's ending is he just takes over the world. Gudef's ending <laughs> is he he kills everyone. Like if you're a bad yeah. guy, you're having a very good time in Psychic Force. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm kind of wondering. Uh, if, I I don't know if X. I can't remember call if X plays out that way, but maybe maybe that's X never. That's X, also X never off, ended. X, oh, okay. Yeah, X never ended. X uh, X is has been on hiatus since like 2002. Oh yeah. Oh right. Yeah, because well, oh, sorry, because then. Yeah, so then, because Clamp, well, I don't know, if, well, because the last thing Clamp, I, re I remember Clamp doing was, was Geass. I don't know if they did anything after they did, that. They did character designs for Code Geass, uh, to the oh, best of my okay, memory. Um, oh, okay, but that. they've, okay. they've worked on stuff since. For what it's worth, like, they probably could have finished, okay, there's the combo. Mm. He didn't get the follow-up, oh, but that was like two straight swords. Um, they yeah, could have yeah. finished X by now if they wanted to. yeah. So I think they said it was like 22 volumes long or supposed to be. Uh, I think they uh -oh. got up to 18 and then the magazine pulled it, but it's Clamp. They could have published it themselves if they wanted to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, considering the, their... I think they their just don't know... Pedigree now. I think they just don't know how to end it. Yeah, because it's like... Dang. <laughs> you know what I found out, actually? The anime was um, directed by Yoshiaki Kawajiri. Oh. Of Ninja Scroll fame. And oh, uh, nice. and and of course and of course Highlander: The Search for Vengeance. Oh, nice! That's that's some that's that's a pretty neat, neat little factoid there. Yeah, it makes me want to check it out. <laughs> yeah, because I also have to imagine. I don't know if the how well the movie was received. I don't know if it was made by the same uh, if it was the same director or anything else. I just no, it, it was just... uh the movie's Rintaro. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Real, I know Rintaro did uh. I know I did I think he did uh He did uh a lot, he did a lot of the Matsumoto stuff. So he did I think Galaxy Express and Harlock. Yeah. And he did um Metropolis. Yeah, but that's right. Metropolis he did that. I thought there was like some other thing he did. I forgot, but well, I can't remember the name of it now. I don't know if it was Rojin Z Har or Harmageddon. Oh, okay. I think yeah, so. It was either Rintaro. It was either Harmageddon or or Doomed Megalopolis. Yeah. Which is where M Bison comes from. Right. Yeah. I think I, I think I I thought I had that uh, anime, but I only saw it once. But I thought I had it on DVD. I don't know if I still have it now, but I remember I think I saw it, but I don't remember it too well. All and right. I do remember like the the poster with the Bison. Yeah. On there. Now we got um Wong mirrors. There's too many Wongs on screen. Yeah. All right. I don't know if you realize this, by the way. Uh, is this for anyone else? Ooh, sorry. Anyone else interested in playing Wong? Wong is immune to time stop. Makes sense. Uh, if you use the time stop and you're playing against and you're playing the mirror, it won't work. Uh, ah. The same thing happens when Setsuna uses the darkness against Setsuna. Yeah, they think yeah the other player gets the the, the advantage too when he dashes you can't see him. Yeah, so, uh, they both yeah. get it. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, because they they're immune to their own power. Yeah, that, that makes perfect sense. I mean, you know, for story reasons, right? Yeah. I don't know. I always liked that. I thought it was kind of cool. Yeah, it's an interesting. It's a it's a neat touch, you know. When in the, and especially in the case of like a mirror match, because you know. Because it and, it and it makes sense. I mean, I think yeah, like, and that actually happens with like, or at least to a degree in JoJo's. If uh, either Jotaro or Dio use the world, and I think he can take the other the other yeah. character if they're using Joe in the in the PS Dio. in the PS One game. Yeah, 
Like, you can, can respond. Still use it and then counter and still move it. Then. Okay. Yeah, I think I remember that. That was, that was the case. So it's things like that. That's a that's like a neat little touch. All right. I I it's hard to commentate because I don't know who's who. Yeah. No. No. no of course. But this is definitely going to be Rio's last game. And Nokia's last game, so. <laughs> and then after this, it's just um, Hanyan versus Lucifer. So going to show, like, how, um, how this, how, you know, like, how much, like, uh, everything could change in this game, right? So Hanyan, uh, let's see. Hanyan got, uh, I think Hanyan lost all the games in the first pool they were in, like at the yeah. beginning of the stream, at the beginning of this uh, series of games. And in this set, he beat Rio. And Rio is probably like the player to beat here. The other thing I like about them is uh, in, Jap in Japan, they seem to just play the one, the one game. They don't do two out of three. So it's do or die. It's uh, the old space battle opera. Here's the throw. That's going to take it. All right. Staying alive. Another throw. Good barrier break. Sword. Into sword. There's the combo. For 50%. And the throw to end it. All right. Sword. I need that charge. All right. Last round. Could be good stuff. It is. So far, I mean, it's... <laughs> you're going to see something nutty. Just, you're going to need double sword, and they both connect. Oh, oh that... Oh, is that it? Yeah. Alright, who got it? Who got it? Is it real? Or was it Nokia? This is like almost as much swords as like fighting you in in Blaze Blue or something yeah. to that effect. Yeah, I mean Wong is kind of just like if you if you're a big Dio Brando fanboy, mm -hmm. but instead of knives, you just replace it with swords. Yeah, pretty much something to that effect. Okay, so that was Nokia. So Nokia beat Rio. So Rio only got one game there against uh, against Lucifer, I believe. So this is the last game of the pool. So it's Gudef versus Emilio. So Lucifer versus Gacho. No, Hanyan, sorry. Pulls out. Hmm? No, yeah, I think it's just because my stream is Wolf of War. I'm watching in screen because I know Gouda got the black hole for a bit. Yeah. He was trying to do, he was trying to get something going with that. All right, so this is it, last game. Good barrier. <sighs> The meteors are very good anti-zoning tools. Yeah. Oh, I went for the... Oof. I went for the big thing, but... Sometimes those little those little projectiles, they, they put in the work. Oh, there it is, the unblockable setup. Either you take the beam or you take the, the break. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Probably got chicken. Ah! Oh, he keeps catching him with the little ones. Yeah. Ooh! Oh, he tried to move away. Alright. And I think that was it. So, yeah. Now they're just playing casuals. Yeah, okay. I think this is now Rio and Lucifer playing, if I had to guess. But yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it's pretty much it. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it went a little differently as planned. I was planning on uh, just going through mechanic stuff. But I think uh, watching the gameplay was definitely... I mean, were you cool yeah. with that? That worked for yeah, you? that sounds good. I mean, the fact that there was so much you can take away and observing, you know, there's so much you can do just, to, just from watching the game in action. From you know, pe you know, people doing the thing, and then you can, you know, you can take apart stuff from there, and then, you know, we that that, and it was just an enjoyable just to watch watch them go at it. So that's I, I, I was totally cool with that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm cool with it. I was cool with that. Yeah. It it, 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 it worked. Relaxed, it worked know? just to watch. Uh, I still want to do this next. So so this, the next one will be. On June fourth. Uh -oh. That's the next Psychic Academy I'm gonna do. Uh, you think? Uh, would you be down for that one too? Should be. I should be free for that. So if anything, yeah. I'm, at least my schedule is pretty open at the moment. So yeah, I should be good for it. Awesome. I see. I want to do them like the first. Uh, I want to do them like the first Friday of every month. Yeah. That's my idea. Because uh, mm -hmm. that way, I at least like remind myself. You know, the hope is that yeah. when 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 events come back, get a side tournament get people watching get yeah. people interested and then and then it'll blow up yeah and at least you know and getting some kind of consistency going you know which it, and it helps out so yeah, yeah that sounds good uh but yeah thank you for joining me man uh oh, we've got a, we've, doing this. It's good no, stuff. Pro no problem it's always cool to, to hang with you uh yeah, we've got a always. couple a couple minutes left so uh anything you want to go over uh, hmm, let's see. I can't think of anything else in particular. At least, not, at least nothing comes to my mind because I mean, just watch just about everything, and then just sort of well, just taking that in. Well, uh, I guess, yeah, I guess it's pretty much the juice. Uh, I will say this. Um, I am going to be in the Discord chat for the remainder of the night. So if anyone has any questions or wants to get set up or anything like that, uh, feel free to join the Discord. Feel free to join me in the voice chat. If you have any questions uh, that you didn't want to ask on stream or you just want help with setting up or whatever, by all means, yeah. you know, and, join in. And the join way the I think about it is also just when well, watching these matchups right now and then seeing that and then at least one way i'm thinking i can yeah. think about it is like you like watch like all that and play and now when you're going over the basics and now maybe have an idea of how to at least the start of how to put all that together or at least yeah just to give you a taste of what you can do it rewards now it rewards creativity but like for example i don't play emilio i can't really mm -hmm. play emilio very well at all but being mm -hmm. able to see the way he sets up the the laser into the the unblockable Mm -hmm. it's different to hear someone like me talk about it and to actually watch it in practice mm -hmm. you know it, it 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 does help to watch like top players do it so right. but yeah uh i hope that uh if you were watching i hope that this helped in some way uh, i will be uploading this to youtube uh so thank you for joining thank you for uh Kicking back and having a good time. And remember, I'll be in the Discord pretty much till midnight, Eastern Time. Uh, my friend, thank you for joining me. Likewise, thank you for having me. Always, always a pleasure. Is there anything you'd like to plug? Uh, other than I stream every now and then on my channel, twitch.tv slash content73. I'm just playing whatever. I happen to be playing uh, this game called Wooden Ocean, which was a game made in RPG Maker, which is quite something i'll say other than that i'm just kind of playing whatever at the moment so i just want to i'm just putting it out there it just has a nice friendly you know safe place for people and um that's really about it that's really all the thing i have to really plug i'm not really plugging anything else but like you know 
you want to catch if you happen to catch me on there feel free to say stuff or whatever that's that's honestly it i mean that's that's so. that works for me uh by the way uh at, when we're done i wanted to ask you your thoughts on au den chronicle oh okay yeah i got i got a yeah the Suiko Den okay. spiritual successor. Oh yeah, I thought I remember hearing talk about that a while back. I hadn't really followed it much. I haven't seen much from that since. Well, Wasn't let me it made by like Konami. Uh, check out Max Konami's. Check out the shirt. Something? Check out the shirt. Mm-hmm. Suiko Den too. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I don't know. I, I I recently started uh uh playing it. That game's amazing. Yeah, I have to play it too because I, I considering I paid. A hundred thirty-five dollars to buy it from. Oh, eBay. you have you have in, you have a physical copy. Yeah, oh, and it's, in, it's, in, it's pretty much a new, great condition. I remember I started it, but I hadn't gotten to finish it because I think I got sidetracked from other stuff, and I was like, "Dang, I haven't played it yet." And I was already digging it, so it's like, yeah. There, there is the a store. Game. There is a store in Orlando called Cybertron, um, yeah. close to UCF. I I always found so we could into there. I think they had it oh, for like a nice. hundred bucks at the time, but this was like in twenty. Oh, wow. This was in twenty sixteen. Oh wow! Yeah, that's yeah. And considering how much it will go for now, and considering yeah, yeah. 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 Anyways, uh, guys, thanks for joining. You guys have a good night. Once yeah. again, feel care, free to everybody. join in. Take take care. Thank you to uh, Lewis for joining us. And uh, thank you for having me. See oh. y'all. See y'all in a month. Take it All easy. Right. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.